Let's talk about health care. Is it constitutional? No. 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 And why is it? Why is it not? Thomas Jefferson explained it to us. Go to section, Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution. It explains what Congress has the authority to do when it comes to these kinds of things. But Thomas Jefferson reiterated that when he said, Congress does not have the authority to do anything they please to provide for the general welfare, but only raise revenue for that purpose, giving a distinct and independent power of the authority to do whatever would be for the good of the Union, renders all proceeding and subsequent enumerations of power completely useless. And the part of the quote I didn't used to give seemed a little too strong at the time. It doesn't seem too strong now. It reduces the whole instrument, and he's talking about the Constitution, it reduces the whole instrument, instrument to that of a single phrase, constituting a Congress with the power to do whatever would be for the good of the United States. And as they would be the sole judges of good and evil, they will also have the power to do whatever evil they choose. Mm -hmm. We were warned, and that's the path we're going down. So how do we stop it? We've got to elect people that understand the Constitution and are ready to legislate from it, not around it. People that understand the role between the federal government and state sovereignty. 